Hello! In this video I'll try to review another CNC laser machine. It's Neji 3 Max with A4640 laser model I got for the test from Neji. If you watch my videos you may hear that. I hope they go step forward and add an output on their motherboard. So when the laser start burning it will trigger 12 volts on that output which will open electrical pneumatic valve. About half year ago I wish that Neji put some output on their board to trigger an air assist valve. Well, Neji go not only one, but three step forward and beat entire competition again. But let's start at the beginning. Here I got Neji 2 Max into box, and here is Neji 3 Max. Box is same size, but it's 1.3 kilo heavier. And when we opened them, we saw what we already expected from Neji. Amazing packaging with super protection, because every component is in its own place into sponge, so it's hardly to make some scratches or other damage during transport. Let's unbox and check what you got into Neji 3 Max package. On first view machines looks quite same, but in Neji 3 Max we have many more parts. First thing I notice is an aluminium L profile for cable chain so you can manage cables like a pro. Frame is made out of 15x15 15 15 and 15x30 15 aluminium extruded profile, just as Neji 2. But almost every part that was acrylic on Neji 2 is now made of aluminium. Nicely machined aluminium, just look at all those chamfers. And there's more stickers with tips where and how, so assembling and using that laser shouldn't be a problem even for beginners. Ok, so here we got pre-assembled right Y-axis with carriage, motor and belt. Front and back part of the frame with aluminium legs. Pre-assembled left Y-axis with aluminium carriage, motor, cables and of course motherboard. And here is pre-assembled X-axis with motor, belt and cables. X-axis carriage is also an AJ3 made out of acrylic, because force here is quite small, but it's much lighter than aluminium, so we can reach faster moves and accelerations. Here is some comparison between AJ2 and 3. Not only they changed the acrylic parts with aluminium, they also had the screws for precise setting wheel backlash. And the edges isn't sharp anymore, but nicely chamfer. Then we got here two cable chain about 60 cm long for X and Y cable management. Amazing A4640 laser model I already tested with attached air assist steel tube, holder and tool. Then we got here three new amazing add-ons for the Neji 3. First one is as they called door button, but I would say not house or emergency button. Here we got electromagnetic air valve. It's amazing add-on, so we can automatically turn on and off air assist while cutting with the softer. Besides, we get also some 4mm tube and coupling for 4 to 6mm. And the last add-on is a relay we can control by the softer. It can be quite useful to power on ventilation system, compressor, RGB LED or whatever. Relay is an additional housing with cable terminals and we also got two pieces of wire with connectors with it. And then we got some classic stuff like manual and some special soft and quality USB cable designed for cable chain. 12 volt 5 amp power supply, this time a bit bigger version. Red protective glasses. And a bag with screws, zip ties, screwdriver and so on. Neji 2 Max we assembled with only 6 screws. Well, with Neji 3 Max we got 8 bags of screws and nuts. And the last is back with some sample materials, like solid wood, plywood, cardboard and plastic sheets. Let's assemble the machine now. Assembling is just as simple as Neji 2 Max, with only 6 screw we assemble entire machine and it's some kind ready to work. Also assembling cable chain and other add-ons isn't a big deal, but paper manual can be a bit short, so go online where you got manual with many more details about assembling. To mount X-axis cable chain rail, use two L profiles from each end. We need to be careful only about one thing here. Aluminium rail got chamfered hole only on one side, and that side need to be at right back corner, so the chain won't stuck into the screw head. Then cut zip ties which hold the cables and unplug it from the motor. Then screw the cable chain holder on X-axis carriage. Before we manage cable through the chain, make sure we got chain turned on right way. One way got limited move, 
that part come mounted on x-axis carriage so the chain can't go higher. Then I use a piece of electrical tape to get the air assist tube through the chain together with the cable. One end of chain screw in the middle of aluminium rail and other end to x-axis carriage. And here you can see why is it so important to turn aluminium profile right. Now turn the machine and mount the laser model and plug the cable so you can get the right length of cables and tubes on that side. Fix it with zip ties, then pull the excess cable and tube on other side of chain, but they shouldn't be too tight in the chain. Then mount Y axis chain holder on same screws as X axis aluminium rail. Make sure you got chain turned right and then install USB cable, power supply cable and air assist tube through the chain. After that screw the chain on its holder, instead of not use an air valve and tight. Now just cut the tube and plug it to a valve. Plug all the cables and manage them with zip ties. Air assist valve plug to M8 connector. M7 connector is for relay and door is for emergency button. I don't plug them for now, but we'll test later. Steel tube for air assist is easy to install, but need to bend it a bit so the air blow precisely into cutting area. There also come rubber pads for the legs and angles to screw machine on the table or into enclosure. Same the end of Y axis chain need to screw somewhere, but also double side tape will do the job. Ok, machine is now assembled and ready to use. Out of chain we have 3 inputs, power supply, USB cable and tube to supply compressed air. I have here additional manual valve, but electrical valve will be closed in any case until we trigger them with software. It's time for a quick comparison with the Neji 2. As you say, machines are quite identical, exact same size, same design, same motors, motherboard is on same place and so on. But Neji 3 is heavier due to aluminium parts and look more, I don't know how to say, complicated, fuller, next to an empty Neji 2. But actually just the chain and valve make this feel. Because of aluminium legs and Y carriages, Neji 3 is to feel more rigid, so I just make a simple test. While machine is off, I move one of Y motor and measure the distance when the motor on other side lose step. Neji 3 move before that long hex is reached 10 mm of difference, while Neji 2 go over 21, so big improvement. But the biggest improve of Neji 3 is hidden right here. On first view, new Neji 3 board look quite same, but got two major differences. There is only one microcontroller for Neji and GRBL mode. That means that machine now also in Neji mode work on 32 bit. And second difference is two output and one input connector, or the gold, so we can plug the air assist valve, relay and safety button. It's still got movement protection, Bluetooth and so on. The only thing we lose so far is offline mode. The front button is temporary only for turn on and off the machine, which is useful because motor and AG3 hold the position right after we turn it on. But Neji still developed this button as custom type button. So far I don't know more, but maybe also offline function come back. Now plug the power supply and USB cable to a PC. USB cable go through the chain, so it may be a bit short and you'll need an extender. First of all go to Neji Wiki, tap Neji 3 and download and install driver. Then download and open the app. It will instantly remind you to update machine firmware. They simplify the process, so they integrate firmware uploader into basic app. When updating the system firmware I got some timeout errors, so I removed my USB extender but the error was repeated. But when everything restarted say up to date and everything seemed to work fine. So flash also NJ and GRBL firmware without errors this time. NJ app is quite similar as it was. We got here info from machine, control tab, photo tab and so on. Biggest difference is in settings menu. Here we can set the sensitive of tilt protection and idle laser power. Below we can set the starting position of laser and on the right side we can set functions of outputs and their delay of turning off. 
Blow also adds some firmware settings like working area, speed and acceleration of each axis, so the board can be useful also for some DIY projects. You may notice that there is missing really important CNC tab. Neji software is under major update, so temporary doesn't offer CNC cutting, but Neji developed team will fix that soon, since they are very active. Only in time I tested this laser, three new versions of softwares come out. If I try to connect with Lightburn, it only say machine isn't in GRBL mode. So before we connect to Lightburn, we need to open Neji software and close them so it asks us what to do. We need to choose close and switch to GRBL mode. That's because only one microcontroller. And that setting will be active until we open Neji app again. Neji prepare machine to Lightburn very well. Everything work as it should. They also prepare manual what and how to set up. But the only settings I need to change is working area size, which is amazing. Idle power of laser in GRBL mode was way too powerful. I got some old version of light burn, which doesn't offer to change that function. So I open laser GRBL and into firmware settings change $40 from 0.5 to 0.05, which is enough to set focus and doesn't damage any surface. Let's test now the door or safety button. Machine works just fine without it, but if you want to use them, just plug it to door connector and that's it. In Tonegi software it works instantly. When we active them, machine instantly stop and app display the alarm. There are notes that the door button doesn't work into light burn, but for me it works just good. It instantly stops the machine and it also messages the alarm, check door. But the truth is that the light burn can freeze when we push the door button. If we reset the door button and click stop button so the laser isn't busy and then homing it will work every time. What about the relay? Firstly I open the housing to see what we get. There are just a relay to trigger it with laser software to start some ventilation system, compressor and so on. There are three cable terminals, but be careful because only plus or line is switchable via relay. N and E terminals are just bridged. We can switch literally everything with it depend on what kind of supply we bring to it. We can switch a tiny LED or a ventilation motor. Relay says it can handle up to 10 amp, but if you use it for some powerful ventilation or even a compressor, I would use it only to trigger bigger relay or even the contactor, like I have here which is easily switching 3 fast 11 kW motor. Ok, so far everything works smooth, so I set focus and make some tests. This time I also got a few pieces of honeycomb panels, which I got from kind viewer who noticed I don't own them. So once again, big thanks Marian. Cutting results are much better with that panels. After first test I noticed that light burn make darker edges. This is due to acceleration and deceleration of x-axis. To avoid this effect simply apply over scanning for a few millimeter and annoying effect will gun. Then I try to make some engraves and note the same thing as every time. Quality of engravings depend on speed of engraving, no matter how fast the machine is advertised. And still think that Neji software makes better grayscale engraves, plus we don't need a PNG files. Here are some examples. I already tested this laser, so I won't go into details. This laser is suitable for cutting, but as we can see it also makes some engrave. I still got in plan to make video about all the laser models, so more about in that video. Then I try to make some cutting. A4640 is extremely powerful model and can easily cut 10mm spruce wood, 20mm is on the limit. Then I try to cut some box out of 3mm plywood. Pieces was a bit bigger, so the motors make longer travels. But during cutting with light burn, laser stop respond a few times. Here you can see that it stop at the moment when the compressor starts running. Light burns stay busy, but the laser don't move at all, laser still cut with set at power. I thought this was my shitty old USB extender, so I buy a new a bit better one, but it doesn't help. After just a few clicks on Google I found that it may be a static electrical problem, and all I need to do is ground the laser model and rails as it got altered engraver. So I take some 0.5 square millimeter wire and some tools to ground some component. I complicated a bit, so I go with wire through the mesh as the other cables but still need less than half an hour to done the job. I lose many pictures during transfer, so I hope you can see how I ground everything. I start with cable on laser model, go to x-axis motor and chain holder. Through the chain on left y-axis motor and from there solder wire to negative on motherboard. 
so I got grounded some elements. Mainframe and right Y motor still isn't grounded, but look like I done the job right because fail was never repeated again, even if I use USB extender. After that simple modification it can cut big area quite fast without any issue. So I tried to cut some box out of 3mm plywood, which was cut in a single go. That A4640 laser model is really amazing for cutting. Then I tried to make some engrave on raw inox steel. Engrave was quite good, but factory settings of focus on A4640 model is for cutting. Now I'll try to set it for powerful engrave. Firstly remove air assist and then with big screwdriver unscrew the lens. Factory settings is exact one turn unscrewed for fully tightened. Now I'll unscrew the lens for 5 turns, so it got about 2.5mm gap between lens edge and aluminium housing. Focal length is now much closer, so we need to lower down laser model closer to material we want to engrave to get right focus, so we can't use that type of air assist in that settings. Also set right focus in that mode is much harder, because just 0.1mm make a big difference, so I just engrave some lines slowly and set focus while it engrave. You can hear the power, so sound will tell you when you get perfect focus. Engrave dot is now much smaller and more energy is focused in a smaller point, so it engraved more powerful, but only on exact point. When we're changing focal length it quickly become bigger. That's why the settings isn't good for cutting at all. Here you can see quite big difference, and when I set engraving line to every 0.05mm difference was even bigger, which is bestly seen under microscope. It makes solid engrave into inox, and engrave can't be wiped or scratched. Then I tried to engrave also on anodized aluminium plate and even here I got best results ever. So I tried to make smallest readable engrave. 2mm height text is nicely readable, and also 1mm. 0.8mm is on the limit, while 0.5mm become unreadable. And here we can see, if we set focus so the point is square, they are not as power as we set focus point shape a, a bit rectangle. Here are two engraves with exact same settings. Only difference is that on upper one I had dirty lens from wood engraving before. So after engraving wood, don't forget to wipe lens with a Q-tip. You can hardly see a grey dust film over the lens, but it reduces laser power more than you think. So if you feel that your model isn't as powerful as it was, try to clean the lens firstly. After a few tests, belts become a bit loose, which is normal for new belt. So all I do is to loosen front screw a bit and tie the belt with the pliers for one teeth, because we only can fix belt on each teeth. But with new belt tensioner you got with the machine now, we can tension the belt easier and more precise. I almost forgot to mention about the app. There are new phone app for Neji 3 now also available on Google Play, so download and install is even simpler. There are no much difference, it offers us to engrave photos out of cloud, out of phone or take any shot taken with the camera. We can set a photo, set size, set text and so on. Everything works smooth as it must. That's about it for today. I didn't review everything because I don't want to repeat myself, but only want to expose the improvements from Neji 2. If you want to know more, check my Neji 2 Max video and video about A4640 laser model. I really love the air assist valve on Neji 3, which open air just in time we need them and then close, which save us a lot of noise and compressed air. I hope you got some new information about Neji 3. All I can say about is that Neji hit right to the point when they had their assist valve, relay and emergency button. Not because I got free sample, but honestly I think that Neji 3 is far the best laser in that price range. I think it's also the only laser with air assist valve. Adding chain is another plus, so we need less space which is great to run them into enclosure box with automatic fan of course. And that's not all, we can buy extension kit and very simply extend the torquing area to amazing 1030 by 810 mm which is great for some Baza model cutting. And the best part of everything is that they sell them for same price as Neji 2, which is hard to believe, but we can get that machine from $400, depend on laser model we choose. This is one of first model of Neji 3, so I really miss the Z-axis height adjuster, but if you buy now you get them with the machine. Plus they add to you a 3 better and more precise belt tensioner and aluminium air assist kit. All that but the price is still same. For more information about the machine, exact price and order, check below into video description for my affiliate link to Neji store. If you buy from that link, price for you stay the same, but I can get a piece of cake, so thanks for every order. I hope you like watching the video, so like, share and subscribe and see you next time.